Imagine going a full day without food. At first, it feels simple, just hunger, a growling stomach, a little fatigue. But deep inside, your organs are waking up to something ancient, a survival code your body hasn't used in years. Within hours, your system begins to switch modes, from storing energy to surviving on it. The first hours feel uneasy. Your body is looking for breakfast that never comes. The stomach growls, not from pain, but from habit. It releases acids, preparing for food that doesn't arrive. Deep inside, your organs are learning a new pattern, one built on patience, not consumption. Inside your body, a new command is issued. Conserve energy. Hormones recalibrate, shifting the system into low gear. By hour four, ghrelin peaks, whispering lies of starvation. You're not out of fuel, you're just meeting hunger's illusion. Your body doesn't like surprises, but this one, it learns to love. As hunger grows, your organs find harmony. The liver leads, the heart steadies, the brain conducts. A quiet orchestra of life playing beneath your skin. Six hours in, your metabolism begins to change its rhythm. Blood sugar starts to fall and fatigue sets in. It feels like a crash, but it's not. Your body is simply shutting down its quick fuel, lowering insulin and preparing for something deeper. With insulin dropping, your body turns to its backup plan. The liver steps in, releasing stored glycogen, your hidden energy reserve. It's a balancing act, keeping blood sugar steady while fueling every cell in silence. As your body enters survival mode, you feel both tired and strangely awake. It's the first stage of adaptation, your system preparing for what comes next. By hour 10, your liver takes the lead, keeping blood sugar balanced and quietly preparing to burn fat. If you want to understand how fasting transforms every organ in your body, hit subscribe and keep watching. Without it, we wouldn't have survived hunger through evolution. The liver, your silent biochemical factory, steps up when food disappears. As glycogen fades, it crafts new energy from fat, creating ketones, pure fuel your brain thrives on, even in fasting's emptiest hours. As ketones rise, the mind sharpens. Focus replaces hunger. It's a turning point. The liver leads the transformation, and deep inside each cell, the mitochondria adapt tiny power plants becoming more efficient, extracting pure energy from the smallest reserves. Deep inside, your cells begin to breathe differently. With less glucose, they burn fat, cleaner, steadier, with fewer toxins left behind. This is where renewal begins. Damaged proteins and old cell parts are broken down and reborn, the quiet start of cellular self-repair. Inside, your body begins its quiet reset, a microscopic spring cleaning. With insulin falling, the gates open, fat cells release their stored energy, and your system shifts, and your system shifts from consuming to repairing. It's not starvation, it's renewal. As insulin falls, your body begins to relearn balance. It becomes more sensitive, more efficient, ready to use energy wisely once eating returns. Cravings rise, but this is the test. Push through and your system resets, shifting from dependence to control. By the 15th hour, your body crosses a threshold, leaving the fed state behind. The stomach, once busy, now quiets, still releasing acid out of habit. Those growls you hear? Not hunger, but memory. It's your body learning to rest for the first time in years. In stillness, your gut begins to heal. With no food to process, it's lining repairs, reducing hidden inflammation and restoring balance. It's not waiting, it's rebuilding. By hour 17, your mind sharpens, fueled not by sugar, but by calm and clarity. As ketones rise, your brain begins to shift. They don't just fuel, they focus, sharpening awareness and mood. It's the mind's ancient response to hunger, designed for survival. For some, it brings clarity. For others, restlessness. 
Either way, your brain has entered a new rhythm. By hour 20, your body fully shifts into fat burning mode. Stored triglycerides break down, sending fatty acids through your bloodstream, fueling muscles, heart, and mind. The liver transforms part of this fat into ketones, keeping your brain alive and sharp. This is true energy, clean, steady, and built from within. Even as fat fuels your body, your red blood cells still receive steady sugar, a sign of perfect balance. Fasting isn't just about losing fat. It's about awakening an ancient survival code. By hour 20, your heart joins the rhythm, beating calmer, cleaner, stronger. With lower insulin and less inflammation, every pulse becomes more efficient. A balanced heart is a resilient one, steady through stress, calm under pressure. But fasting lowers electrolytes, so hydration becomes essential to keep rhythm and flow. Even now, your heart adapts, finding new patterns of strength and endurance. And as hour 22 arrives, a deeper process awakens. The body begins to clean itself from within. Inside you, something extraordinary begins. A deep cellular cleanse. Old, damaged parts are broken down and rebuilt, as if your body's janitors have finally clocked in. When you stop feeding constantly, cells get the chance to repair from within. This is autophagy your body's natural reset. Linked to stronger immunity, slower aging, and cleaner, more efficient cells. It's not just fasting. It's renewal at the deepest level of life. By the 23rd hour, your body is in full transformation. Deep inside your gut, trillions of microbes are rearranging themselves, some fading, others thriving in the quiet of fasting. This microbial shift strengthens your immunity reduces inflammation, and helps your intestines rebuild their protective barrier. Even without food, your gut isn't resting, it's healing. Then, a powerful signal rises, human growth hormone. Within a single day of fasting, HGH can surge up to five times higher, repairing tissue, mobilizing fat, and protecting lean muscle. Your body isn't breaking down, it's rebuilding itself from within. By hour 24, every organ has learned a new rhythm. The heart beats steadier, the liver fuels smarter, and the brain hums on pure clarity from ketones. You've entered a biological state few experience in a constantly fed world, one of deep balance, repair, and resilience. Fasting isn't deprivation. It's a reminder of what your body can do when you step aside and let it work. So the next time hunger calls, Remember, it might not be a signal to eat, but an invitation to reset.